what's going on guys living zombies here back with another pokemon go video and in today's video guys we are talking about an april content update that pokemon go did post on their twitter a few days ago uh of course i did make a video a few days ago too guys about what the raid bosses would be for next month because they did preview that on their twitch live stream but yeah soon after that a few hours after that they did post everything that will be coming out in the next month so we're talking about the main events spotlight hours and we'll talk about the raid bosses again too so if you guys did not see my video about what the raid bosses will be for next month these are the five star raid bosses right here guys we have cartana celesteela with their shinies debuting uh, of course starting on the 4th of april and then after that on the 12th we get tapu bulu then on the 25th we get reggie steel back in raids too mega raids we have mega charizard x from the 4th to the 13th and then a brand new mega as you guys have may have seen mega heracross on the 13th to the 25th brand new mega right there so i can't wait to get that and mega agron will be in raids from the 25th to may 2nd and of course shadow entei will be making its debut in shadow raids and yes you guys can go for the shiny of shadow entei do remember tapu bulu will be getting the signature move nature's madness as well just like how tapu coco and tapu lele got that move set too now tapu bulu is going to learn that move set as well now let's talk about guys the main events for april the first thing of course which which i've made a video about because they did post the details about this event already the sizable surprises event which does debut shiny Wimpod. it features shiny boosted whalemer spawns also it of course debuts the shiny cartana and that shiny celesteela and then on the 7th of april is a classic c day for the dragon type pokemon bagon so if you guys need some shiny bagon i do heavily recommend you guys play that event i need some shiny bagon so i will for sure be playing this event and then our second main event of the month will be the returning bug out event which i am super happy about guys because we did not get this event last year and i'm always a fan of this event we didn't get it last year but the last time we got this event was back in 2022 and that is when mega scissor did debut in the game alongside grubbin so those were two brand new pokemon debuts for this event and this was also the release of shiny venipede so the bug out event is known for debuting pokemon and debut viewing shiny pokemon as well so what could we see from the bug out event this year we of course know that yes mega heracross similar to mega scissor back in 2022 is debuting in mega raids but could there be a brand new shiny featured in this event too there definitely could be guys my guess as to what shiny bug type could drop for this event is maybe shiny sea waddle okay it is a bug type pokemon and again it's a, it's a three stage pokemon as well so maybe we could see the release of shiny sea waddle in the game for the bug out event i mean it is a three-stage family like i said just like how venipede was back in 2022 and plus there's not too many other unreleased shiny bug type pokemon there's not many that i can think of off the top of my head besides the sea waddle so yeah if anything if they do pick a new shiny bug type pokemon for this event i do think that maybe shiny sea waddle could be the choice for this year's bug out event if you guys have any other guesses let me know in the comments below so hopefully we can maybe see a shiny sea waddle release in this event so now let's go ahead and talk about what is next guys after the bug out event that will be the mega heracross raid day so i was correct about that it, mega heracross will be getting a raid day so a one in ten shiny rate on the heracross in those raids so if you guys have never got shiny heracross before this will be your best chance to get one so definitely don't miss out on the raids there and then april 20th will be the sea day which will be a new and unique sea day so this could be whatever it could be solosis it could be a sea waddle sea day for all i know i don't know but yeah that should get announced some, sometime soon after the bagon sea day does end uh, and then also the last main event of the month will be the returning sustainability week event which i do believe last year we did get one we did get this event it is a returning annual event and last year this event did release the pokemon bound suite so we could possibly see a shiny bound suite release in this event uh because last year too this i think did debut shiny drillbur so this event can also debut some shiny pokemon so yeah shiny drillbur came out last year for this event so it could drop the shiny bound suite this year since it did debut last year in the same event 
and in terms of a pokemon debut similar to how it was bound suite last year maybe this could be the pokemon debut for wiglet okay so yeah the paldea form diglet we could see the wiglet family come out for this event because the pokemon group did data mine this not too long ago wiglet and luxrio underwent some small changes in the game's coding maybe they are prepping for a release for the sustainability week event which it would make sense for this to come out for that event so guys that is definitely possible so stay tuned for that that would be a pretty cool release and the last event of the month will be on the 28th and that is going to be another hatch day event which does feature what we've seen so far baby pokemon with a shiny boosted rate in 2ks the last hatch day we had was azuril and the first hatch day we had which was before that was for riolu so it could be any of these baby pokemon right here for the hatch day if i had to guess i'm maybe gonna say a badoo or bonsley hatch day guys that's what i'm feeling i'm thinking one of those two will be the pick for this upcoming hatch day event if you guys could pick any of these baby pokemon for a hatch day which one would you guys pick let me know in the comment section below so now guys the last thing to talk about is the raid hours and spotlight hours if you guys want to save the dates for these raid hours april 3rd will be a tapu lele raid hour and the 10th will be a kartana celestila raid hour depending on where you guys live either the northern hemisphere or the southern hemisphere and on the 17th and 24th those are both tapu bulu raid hours now in terms of the spotlight hours are they good these are pretty decent in my opinion the first one on the second is zubat with two times transfer candy i just love shiny zubat i love the entire family so i'm down for that Krogunk is also is also a pretty good looking shiny too that's on the ninth with two times evolution xp and then for that bug out event during that event we have a three pokemon three featured pokemon spotlight hour which does feature caterpie weedle and Wurple guys on the 16th with two times catch stardust so that might be kind of fun to go for each and every shiny pokemon featured in that spotlight hour and then on the 23rd we have trubbish which i do believe gives extra stardust per catch that will be two times catch xp and the last spotlight hour guys on the 30th will be clefairy with two times catch candy so yeah guys that does pretty much summarize what is to come for the month of april once they do post more details for these upcoming events and upcoming community days i will make more videos about that so stay tuned for that but thank you guys for watching today's video drop a like if you enjoyed subscribe for more and i'll see you guys in the next one peace